What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Grid. My name is Grid, and thank you so much for joining me for another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Today, you guys, we are going to be taking care of the Galactic Challenge Tatooine Sith event. This is where you're primarily going to be using Imperial Troopers to knock out Count Dooku with some Sith. So without further ado, let's jump right into this. Now you guys, right off the rip, I want to let you know, we knocked out tier seven max rewards and we did it with two teams. It is possible to knock out all feats in one team, but it's just, I, I was banging my head against the wall. I was trying to do it like 400 times. And at the end of the day, I was like, if I'm, if I'm doing this, I'm not going to ask you guys to do that because this is miserable and you can easily knock out the, the, the kill three enemies in one turn feat with a different team. Just, just don't worry about it. Just do two teams. And you're good to go. I also want to let you know that I tried to do this with MPO Troopers at gear 12. And same thing. It is it is close. But man, is it difficult. And Man, are you going to knock your head against that wall? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys two team compositions that worked for me. No problem. Caused no issues. Very quick and easy. First battles done. Knocked out. No issues. Okay, so I'm going to break down the modifiers and tell you how those are going to work for you. Break down the teams and their mods. And then we're going to go through the team battles. All right, guys, so first things first, you had the feats for this Galactic Challenge. Obviously, we're completing the battle. Second, we got Crush Them, which is when after defeating three enemies in the same turn. I'm going to show you a fun little trick for this one, okay? Make it super easy. Really an inconvenience. Lucky Shot, complete the battle after scoring at least 30 critical hits. This will be done with the Imperial Troopers, and obviously completing a battle with a full team of Imperial Troopers will be done with, uh, well, Imperial Troopers. We don't need Gideon. Um, if you got him, it's, it's pretty easy but I'm going to show it without them just in case, okay? Modifiers here. First and foremost, global modifier, guys, is the Dune Sandstorm. Basically, at the end of every other turn, all units get a dot. It can't be resisted, but it can be cleansed, okay? So we're going to use that to our advantage. Endless Ranks, this is your player modifier. Effectively, the Imperial Troopers will have three lives before they actually start dying. When they were to die, they will instead revive with 60% health and protection. Enemy modifier here, whenever a Sith ally is defeated, all Sith allies will gain 50% max health and offense stacking until the end of the battle. They also gain 50% turn meter and recover 50% health. This will be a little bit obnoxious, but ultimately shouldn't cause too many issues for us. Whenever a Sith ally defeats an enemy, they gain Dark Ascension. Dark Ascension will decrease their damage by 15% and increase their damage by 30%. Now, this one, it's mostly this top part that's going to be causing us issues. We shouldn't die too many times. The Sith, like Dooku, might kill us on a counter. Uh, but most of the time, our troopers are actually going to be dying from dots. But they might stack this up a little bit. It ultimately doesn't change a whole lot for us, though, as you guys are going to see. So let's get into the team compositions and break down those mods. Now, guys, first team in question here with the Imperial Troopers. We're going to be using Veer's lead with Stark, Piet, Death Trooper, and Range Trooper. Honestly, these mods aren't too crazy either. It's mostly about just kind of timing some of your attacks right. Veer's here is modded for offense and health, but again, nothing too crazy. 242 speed. Um, I was mostly going for some speed secondaries. Uh, health circle, offense, uh, cross, crit damage triangle, speed arrow. Got some speed secondaries on there. Again, only 242. All right, only 242 speed, nothing too crazy. Stark does not even have like a, a true like speed set on him. I just went for speed secondaries to not take away from other people. 282 speed. I didn't care about the primaries, honestly. I just went for speed secondaries. Try to make him as zippy as I could. Piet here, same thing. Mod of just for basically maximum speed. 288 speed. Give him uh, a little bit of survivability, a little bit of offense there. Speed arrow, speed secondaries where I can find him. 288 speed. That's the most important thing. Just getting him nice and fast. Death Trooper is uh, around 227 speed. Um, he has uh, just stuff on him, honestly. Um, I was going for kind of speed, uh, but this is, this is just kind of some mods that are left over on him. So it's possible with uh, with with that. Yep. I did not mod specifically for, for this. It's just what was on there. So very easy. And Range Trooper here is modded for crit damage, crit chance. So um, we got a protection circle, uh, health cross, crit damage triangle, speed arrow, speed secondaries where I can find them. Again, only 218 speed. So relatively rel relatively low speeds here, you guys. Um, you don't need crazy speeds on this team apart from Stark and Piet. Make them nice and fast. Everything else sort of falls in place. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this battle and I'll break it down for you. 
All right, going into the battle here, you guys. We're going to start with the mark ability here. We're going to give that over to Death Trooper. That gives us offense up, boost our turn meter. We're going to do the same thing with Stark, boost our turn meter, and then use Veers over there to call everybody to assist over on uh, Vader. Okay, we're going to use Death Trooper to dispel that stealth off of uh, Count Dooku. And then we're going to use Piet here to nail Daze. Daze is extremely important to hit here because that'll allow Death Trooper to stun everybody, um, but it also is going to keep them from countering. Now our kill order, generally speaking, is going to go Vader, if possible, Maul or Savage, and then EP and Dooku. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of Maul there. I then decide to head on over, um, actually over to um, Savage. I decide against it. I want to keep my turn meter rolling, so I head back over to EP. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of him. Since um, Dooku is dazed, he's really not much of a threat. Savage is more obnoxious because now he just has like a ton of bonus health. But it's really not with these geared troopers, really not much of a threat. We're going to do an AoE here, knock him out. Since Dooku is dazed, he is literally no threat. Hit him with a death mark and then walk away with a very clean, easy battle. Now the next team composition here, you guys, for knocking out three enemies in one turn. This is the core of the team. Vader lead with Thrawn and Watt. All right. Now basically what's going to happen is uh, Watt Boy over here has an ability called Discharge Energy, which triggers all dots on the enemy team. So basically all you got to do is let their dots stock, stack up on the enemy team, get them down to, you know, three quarters health or so, and just pop that, blow everybody up super easy okay um so this is sort of the the core foundation of this team you use vader to get even more dot stacking thrawn uh to throw uh the turn meter over to watt and vader when you need it um to keep watt alive you need to keep him a lot so you can uh, alive so you can trigger all those dots and then after that you guys is kind of a toss-up personally i used um treya and our boy pia again um, just because some of the synergy between Pia and Vader, it worked, however, with a multitude of characters in these last two slots. So by all means, play around with it. I liked using Va uh, Treya here to be able to decrease some of the cooldowns and just keep my people alive a little bit longer by dispelling their buffs on them and whatnot. But you can use a whole host. Of, you could use you could use tanks here. You could use, I mean, quite literally almost anybody in these last two slots. All right. Don't don't think about it too much. Just. Play around with what you got that has even the slightest synergy with Vader, but you don't need anything too crazy here. This is just what I happen to you. So let's jump into this battle, break this one down for you. All right, so starting off, your Watt is going to go first. Throw that weapon tech over to Vader. After that, Count Dooku is going to do something. Regardless of what he does, it doesn't matter. Use Force Crush, use your Thrawn to give Term Eater back to Vader, and then go into Merciless Massacre. Now we are going to kill off Dooku first, all right? And then after that, our next target is Vader. So we're gonna play around with Merciless Massacre here and then get rid of Vader. When Vader is gone, our job is now just to, just to kind of tap, just do a couple of little attacks against these guys um, to whittle down their health to roughly 50 to 75% health, okay? As you can see, we got Double digits in the dots. We have 18, we got 14. We're waiting for Watt to take a turn. Slow it down, use discharge energy, pop everybody, knock them all out in one go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I hope that helped you guys get those maximum feats. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what team compositions you guys use. So if somebody does not have this specific team composition or not these gear levels, you were able to do it with a different team or the same team with lower gear levels, lower stats, whatever it is, let us know. That way, if somebody does not have these teams, but they have the ones that you were mentioning or the stats that you're mentioning, we can all benefit here and walk away with some maximum rewards. So without anything else, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me once again here on the grid. And until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, we're going off the grid.